Okay. New video, new match. Hello guys, it's Cynthia, coach of the Journey Giraffex, and today we are battling Cossack 11, coach of the DDDD, Grailing Vikabolts. And here's an interesting team. It's very bulky with like three major threats. Malmetal, Como O and Mega Diancy. Those are the three major threats that can threaten to sweep my team. Weavile is also dangerous, but I have some things for Weavile. Arcanine is more likely going to be a bulky pivot. Serena, Rapid Spin, Cragsire, likely going to be a bulky check with Unaware to check my settlement. And then Marini is baby Toxapex, Mashana I don't really fear that much. And Braviary is Braviary, so. I feel confident that we might can get a win as long as we make sure that we check Malmetal, Como, and Mega Dancy and, be ca and keep an eye on Weavile. So let's see what the team is. We are bringing Titanium, the Mega Agron as usually, Rock Polish, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Heavy Slam. Pretty nice because after a Rock Polish we outspeed the entire team, and after an Iron Defense we 1 hit KO slash 2 hit KO the entire team outside of Unaware Crag Zyre. So we need to make sure that Cragsire is chipped down or gone to be able to sweep with Agron. But even if a Cragsire is still around, I can still do a lot of damage with Body Press and Heavy Slam and pressure a lot of the team. Or force the Cragsire in to then go into one of something else. The speed is so we outspeed the entire team of the run Rock Polish and then the rest is HP and Special Defense so we can lift some hits and be able to set both up. Watermon the Vaporeon is my bulky physical check and pivot. Leftovers, Wish, Protect, Flipped on and Ice Beam. We do 1v1 one one Melmetal, Banded Melmetal because um, heavy double iron bash um, does 51 max to us which Leftovers heals up so we can Wish Protect stall that and Thunder Punch does 80% to us but if he Banded Thunder Punches me that's a free switch into either Flygon or Agron and so I don't mind. Flip turn of course for switch momentum and then Ice Beam for hitting the Como O for some damage as well as Serena. Because they are easy switches to my Vaporeon. Flinch X, please. The Toga Kiss with Assault with Serene Grace. Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, RSV, and Tri Attack. With enough speed to outspeed Serena, I think. Should be to outspeed Serena. Uh, let me check real quick. It should be to outspeed Serena. Yep, to outspeed Serena. So we can Air Slash that. The rest is HP and Special Attack. And the AV is so we can live a plus 2 coma O flash cannon after an Omni Boost throat spray. That was the wrong set. I want to see here the Omni Booster plus 2. Because with AV we'll live a plus 2 um, flash cannon and Oko back with a Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we tank, the fl we tank that and the plus 1 Dazzling Gleam still Oko, so that's one of my checks to uh, soul como and yeah cranky the conculter is also pretty nice here drain punch hits a lot of hits him pretty hard because he has of the lack of ghost mark punch is a good priority finishing move in case we fail to ko something knockoff is nice to knock off stuff like evil eye on marini or banned from melmetal or leftovers from cragsire and stuff and ice punch is here to hit the coma o as well as the braviary and its arena because, yeah. <coughs> Apologies. I think I have to go. <coughs> and Apologies. Jesus, why do I sneeze so much lately? Yeah. His only fighting resists are Mashana and Marini, and those that don't appreciate it got knock off. Because everything else is weak to fighting, so. Why no bug? The Flygon is mainly here for defogging, because... I learned my lessons, I always want to have one hazard removal at least on the team, even if it doesn't do much. And because my only D has a removal are Togekiss, Conkeldor and Flygon, I think. I have to run Flygon because Conkeldor is here for damage, Togekiss is here to check Como, and so we have Flygon here. It also gives me an electric immunity because in case in case um, Melmetal locks itself into Thunder Punch or my Vaporeon, I can freely go into Flygon and either Earthquake, U-Turn or Roost or Defog and stuff. We have enough speed to outspeed Arcanine to be able to Earthquake that and then have the rest in HP and attack for living because it's more of a utility and pivot than a attacker or breaker. Also does a lot of damage to Marini of course and yeah. 
can also do with like 33% to moment and stuff. And then Schreihals, the man that we, um, uh, free agent seat for Licky Licky. Choice pack soundproof is pretty nice because soundproof ignores, um, clanging scales from Como, I think, which is pretty nice, even though it should always go for a fighting move against it. And with choice packs, boom burst, Oko's almost everything, flamethrower then kills the moment half, guaranteed ice beam for the Como, and uh, for the soundproof Como in case that comes, and hydro pump is here mainly for Ar Arcanine and Diancy, even though boom burst 2 kills Diancy as well. We cannot run anything with the speed we have, because Mishana and Marini are always slower than us, and Bravey area I think always outspeeds us, so we basically try to get mm, explode in on something like Cragsire and then just click a move and kill something and be happy. So yeah. Do you actually get Surf? Because I might, yeah. I rather run Surf because I don't like missing. So let me run Surf because it's still low cost, the Diancy and yeah. I don't have much else to hit, it's just for coverage. In case I'm not free to run uh, Boom Burst. So, uh, with that all said, let's jump into the game and hope we f we get a win for once because we lost the last two weeks. We didn't do lose very badly, but we still lost and that sucks because we don't like losing because losing is bad. Losing is bad, and we don't like this. So let's see. He accepts. He didn't bring either Melmetal nor Como, which is very surprising to me. But I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. So he has the Mega Diancy, which gets bodied by my Agron after Rock Polish, as well as Vaporeon does some decent things against it. Mark Punch from Conkelder does a lot. Braviary, which can be an issue, but I have things for it, mainly like Agron, Vaporeon, Arcanine, I have Flygon 4, as well as Vaporeon, and Arcanine and stuff. Weavile, I have Mark Punch Conkelder 4, so I need to keep that in the bag. Cragsire is a free switch into my x Blood or something else. And Serena... I have Togekiss 4. So who do we want to lead with? What do I think will he lead with? He has... Cragsire gets Stealth Rock, right? Because if not, then I'm not really in need to have... Um, Flygon. You do get Stealth Rock, right? No. So his only Rocker is Diancy. So we'll have to see if he brings Di Rocks Diancy. I don't think I have Hazards myself, but I don't really need them against the Diancy team because... It would be nice for Braviary, Arcanine, and Ivyval, but they are not really bulk. Well, Arcanine can be in Braviary too, but I think they are more offensively. Because he already has Craigs and Serena for bulk, and I don't think he would bring four bulky mons and two attackers. Even though that's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> but okay. Okay, so. Who's my wing con? Agron. Can be my wing con if he can chip down the Craigs enough. I could just lead Explode and kill something I practically. Because he has nothing really that immediately threatens out Explode. Because of the lack of Como, he leads the ANC. Even if it's like. not Mega, I still do a lot of damage. And if it Megas, it's dead. Arcanine is dead. Weavile. Yeah, Choice Bandit Weaver needs to low kick me to kill me. But he has a Braviary too. I feel like Vaporeon is a decent lead because I can just scout what he leads with, and if he leads Serena, that's basically a free Togekiss. So I think I'm doing that. We lead Vaporeon and Skull what he leads with. Quagsire, okay. So 
So now is the question of whether are you water absorb or not. I should have speed you. But do, I don't want to get my um, Vaporeon poisoned. Because that would be bad. But he could also just attack me here. Or switch, expect fearing a poison of my, himself. Because he can also just U-turn on my Togekiss coming in with Serena. Serena doesn't get anything to hit my Togekiss for really hard. Well, it gets Triple Axel now, but... I don't know, I, I can feel like Triple Axel is that good of a move. Hmm. So I either Protect, Flip, Turn, or go Hard, Explode. The question is what is he going to do, and do I want to risk the 50-50 and let him Toxic me? I think I Protect first to scout what he goes for. Yeah, he goes for the Toxic. I just go Boom Burst. And claim a kill question mark. Yeah, because he has no switch to my Explod. Show me your Boom Burst switch in. <laughs> Show me your Specs Boom Burst switch in. Bravery with that doesn't live. Oh, it did live. That has to be AV. That is hella AV. Yeah, that is AV. That is AV. That is AV. 67. Actually, it might just be HP. Huh, interesting. It might just be really specially bulky. Actually, it might just be... Maybe Max... I'm gonna assume it's AV. It has to be AV. I'm, it's probably AV. I know this thing gets U-turn. Because Gormit definitely kills me here, so... Let's see, if we go Vaporeon... I should easily lift that. Yeah, even if he is like... So let me scout what he is. Yeah, there's the close combat, that does zero to me. Beautiful. And I just get the free flip done. And see if Craigsire... Huh, he's not... He's not AV, that is interesting. So he's not AV. So he is indeed Max Max. He is indeed Max Special Defensive. He is indeed Max Special Defensive. Oh, that was just a really low roll. Um, okay, well, nah, I think he's Max Special Defense. Because let me see how much damage he do my Marporeon. 32 to 38. 23. Oh, this was, that was very but I was look. See, yeah, close combat, 23, it was about right. Flip turn after a defense drop, 90 to 23. Yep, that's also within the cog, so yeah. He has no speed now. Um, he is max special defensive. He is max special defensive. Which means my token kiss out speeds, especially hit minus one. But what does he go into? Well, actually, he roosted. He's probably heavy duty boots then. Probably heavy duty boots. I mean, Burper doesn't kill me, but I don't want him to just do things that are nasty to me. Do I just want to go Agron? No, because Agron just invites and body cracks Zaya. So I can't do that. Hm. I actually think I could go um Concalda to activate my guts and then go back into Vaporeon. 
I think that's what I'm doing. Actually, do I kill you with a Mark Punch? 53 to 63. Ah, uh, no, I'm shy. Quite. I'm just about shy from killing. So we go back into our Vaporeon. And I see what he goes into. Because Serena just lets me go into Togekiss for free. And now we have Guts. Yeah, he goes to Serena. We go Vaporeon, get some leftovers, recovery again, and I just go Togekiss. Serena. Triple Axel. Jesus! Huh? That's a lot of damage. But he has to land all three. Does he predict that? No, he just U turns, okay. Into. Ah, damn, I know it's Scarf. I was thinking about bringing Scarf, but nah. So yeah, he has the Weavile. We want either Icicle Crashes or Schnock off here. Schnock off. Question is, which one does he go for? Or he might just low kick, expecting my aggro to come in. I kind of want to go up Vaporeon, but I really don't want to get blown back by something annoying. So I think I just go Conkeldor. So he goes to Yancy. Hard the Yancy, okay. So Moobless bodies me, and Mark Punch doesn't body him. Which is not good, that's not really ideal. Because the Yancy is somewhat of a threat for me. Vaporeon, how much damage do you take? You are able to somewhat wall it, so. Yeah, that is Mega Diancy, so. We go into Diancy. See what he goes for. Moonblast, that does 42. That's alright, because I just set up a wish. See, so goes Serena. I click Protect and see what he goes for. Yeah, there's the triple axle. Oh, yeah, power can kill me. How much damage? How much damage did U-turn do to my Togekiss? Because it might be banded. No, it's not banded. It's within the rule. Hmm. And I can't go Agron because my jump kick will absolutely obliviate me. So I need to know what moves he has to be able to properly play around it. I mean, yeah, after I Mega, I Jump Kick doesn't do that much to me, but pre-Mega, it absolutely obliviates me. I mean, I have Sturdy, but I don't want to risk it. So I have to think here. Would he Triple Axel again, or would he go for something else? Could I go Conkeldor? Conkeldor takes a lot from my from Power Whip. Hmm. I really. So he has U turn and Triple Axel. He has, he has to have a grass move, and then the question is does he have. He should have high jump kick. He should have high jump kick. He should have high jump kick. That absolutely bodies me, pre mega.
How valuable is Togekiss for me? I mean, Flygon isn't that much of a value to me, honestly. Like, I really don't like Flygon that much in this game, because it doesn't do much. So I think I just like Flygon and see if he triple axes again. He does triple axe again, okay, that's fine. Because he only hits one time, so that's unfortunate. But I just U-turn here. Get some damage off. I go to Agron, at least on high jump kick. Okay, just triple axes again. So my U-turn did... he has leftovers as well. My U-turn did 31. So you probably have no speed, max HP. And that was a low roll. How many triple axes he did out of three of my aggron? So... Aggron, non-mega, how much attack investment do you have? Come on, hurry up! 12. 2 plus 4 is 6. Yeah, that's 12. Okay, so he is offensive. I jumped it, didn't even kill. Ow. So I jump kick doesn't kill me. But it allows him to go into um, Crag's Eye for free. Wait, if he has no speed, then I would speed him here. That's a nice damage. And he misses the high jump kick. That is unfortunate. Oof. Sorry for that. Braviary comes in, but Braviary shouldn't be able to kill me. Especially because I know you're not attack invested. Yeah, Braviary does nothing for me to me. I just heavy slam again. I see you go for the boost. I'm gonna keep body press here in case he roosts again. Do not underestimate Agron. I, bo I, I tell you, a close combat does zero to me, even if you are like max attack. <laughs> a close combat does absolutely zero to me. And if you lose your flying type here, then I think I kill. No, actually, I think I don't. And yeah, he goes Cragsire. Get some damage off on that. It is leftovers, of course. So Cragsire. And it is within the roll. But yeah, it basically just lets my cra explode in for free again. Because another earthquake doesn't kill me and I just boom burst again. Yep. Boombas absolutely obliviates you. Wait, Boombas can miss? No, Boombas cannot miss, good. <laughs> because it can also kill Diancy, I think. If it 2 KOs regular Diancy, it should be able to almost one-shot normal Diancy, so he has no switching for this. Yep, Braviary is dead. Goodbye, Braviary. Who comes in? Diancy? Arcanine? Meanwhile? Somebody? Arcanine with Intimidate, okay. So 
So the question that I have is, how much does a regular Arcanine do to me with like one charge? If it's not banded. Not enough. So we go over Porion and see what he goes for. Wild charge. That is not banded. Beautiful. Meaning I can just go for a wish here. Click protect. He has nothing to break up a Porion as well. Which is nice. I still need to figure out if it's Water Absorber Unaware, Cragsire. I think it's Unaware. It should be Unaware. I really think it should be Unaware. And I don't have to reveal Ice Beam now. So he doesn't know I don't have Toxic. Or Heal Bell. But yeah, I definitely don't want Vaporeon to get poisoned. I definitely don't want Vaporeon to get toxic. Yep. Okay. Quagsire comes back in. I just protag to see what you go for. Yep, you try to toxic me. Did I just go Conkeldor? Yep. That fails. And now I just click knock off and knock something off. Or get some damage off on Diancy. Yep, we knock off the leftovers, which is nice. Earthquake comes out, doesn't kill me. And now that's a free drain punch. Bop. Get some nice damage. Yeah, the thing is, you recover, but I also recover myself with that. So, I don't mind. I got recovery out of this too. You're going to get crit eventually. Oh boy, that was a hardcore misplay. Because I just mark punch here and kill you. Ooh, making the double nice. Ooh, it tilted a lot of damage. But yeah, I just go out into my Vaporeon again. Flare Blitz comes out, that does zero to me. I just wish the Quagsire comes in. And... I want to try to heal um, Explode, but I fear that he's going to add Earthquake expecting the Explode to come in. Well, yeah, I just go Conkeldo. It's safer. Okay, he didn't um, Elfgrave, but it was safer. It was the safer play overall. Because, yeah. You don't have anything for Conkeldo. That's what happens when you don't have a fighting resist. Or, you know... A ghost type. So... Yeah, he sacks RK9 to drop my attack. Now he should go into a Kragsire again. Yep. He's going to recover here, so I get a free switch to explode. Yep, and now something dies. <laughs> yup, goodbye, Kragsire. <laughs> Damn, we're really getting a 6 0 here, I think. So Diancy comes in. I want to preserve my 6 0 and go into Vaporeon on the Moonblast. Yeah, because now. I just click flip turn. Another Moonblast shouldn't kill me. Yeah, another Moonblast shouldn't kill me. Yep, we flip turn, 
kill the Diancy, and this is basically GG. Because we just mark punched the V-Vile. And that kills it like 3000 times. So, we finally got a good game. Good, We got a 6-0. I prepped a lot for this team, so because after losing the last two games, the way I lost them, I really wanted to get a win finally. And so I really prepped a lot for this team, so... And him not bringing Malmental or Como O were really, really good for me, because... You saw what happened. Explode and Conkello just claim killed left and right. I'm sad I didn't get to pop my Agron sweep, but it's still fine, because Conkello and Explode cleaned the team. Of course, the high jump kick miss was really unfortunate, but... It basically died either way because you saw the damage Serena did. It did like 30 to my Agron and so it didn't really do anything because Agron didn't stay in on a lot anyway. And Bravey we still didn't kill afterwards. The triple axle on Flygon also didn't matter a lot because it was a sack. I didn't need Flygon because Flygon was only here for hazard removal and his only hazard setter was Diancy. And I didn't see Diancy setting rocks, so I didn't need Flygon. So yeah, it definitely was a pain for him because of the Rancho, because I could have lost 5-0 if the Triple Axel um, hit all three on Flygon. But that's the risk you run when you. That's just Pokemon the risk you run. That's why I think Triple Axel isn't as good as people think it is. It can be good, but yeah. Explode definitely having a great debut um, match. <laughs> I'm definitely glad I traded it for Licky Licky because Explode is a beast. Explode is a beast. It's very underrated. Like, it's a beast. I have no idea who killed what. <laughs> I know Conkelder killed the Weavile and the Arcanine and the Braviary. Serena died to Rick, died to um, High Jump Kick. Cragsire. No, wait. Braviary and Cragsire died to Explode, Weaver and Arcanine died to Conkaldor, and Diancy died to Vaporeon. I don't know if the Serena death counts for Agron as kill, because it killed from its own um, high jump kick miss. So yeah, I'll see you guys in week 4, and yeah, was a good game. He played, he played well, he just didn't br bring the perfect best team against me, but he had a tough matchup as well, because... Conkeld and Explode killed the entire team, and there was no way he could have done because he has no ghost type. That's why you always want a ghost type, especially when you have like the Yancy and Melmetal and stuff. Especially when you have Weavile. When you have. S mm. His only fighting resist was Marini and Mashana, and that's not good. So, some advice for you go and draft a ghost type. It doesn't have to be a good ghost type, but a ghost type with at least recovery. Or drop something. Grab a Wish Passer and grab a good Ghost type like Dusclops, Mischievous, um, Smagius, Dusknor, all good low tier Ghost types that really, really, really are good for your team because you get bodied by fighting in normal types. You get bodied by them. So yeah, definitely go do that because you need them. Or draft a Fairy type that isn't weak to or need neutral to rock or a better Psychic type because Mishana is not a good Psychic type. But yeah, that's not that's my advice for you. But only anyway, you played well, good game. Sorry for the Serena unluck, but I don't feel I don't feel it mattered much, but yeah. GG's and I'll see you guys.